All right, so I want to kick this off with one very important essential, and I, I put that in quotations because you don't really need it, but this little device right here helped me upgrade and better size our power bank and solar array. So what this does is you can plug it into an outlet. I'll show you over here where you can't really see it. <laughs> Shit. So the way this works is it measures the amps and watts, the different Now, we're cooking something. As you can see, we're cooking, we need some hot water. So that's what we need. Now, we're gonna come over here. This is pulling some watts. As you can see, it is heating up on our induction stove and it is pulling a lot of watts. 955 for its high. So as this heats up, it will continue to use 955 watts until it gets up to temperature, then it should level out a little bit. So right now it is using 944 watts because our water is already boiling here. Um, induction stoves heat things up very fast, but we're using 944 watts. And this gives you kilowatt hours volts of course we're using this through the inverter so 122 volts 7.7 .7 amps so for comparison our 200 watt solar panel out there is currently generating about seven to eight amps low watts so this also gives you the low rating um, so when our induction stove was inactive it's pulling 1.3 watts the high 955 that's startup and then again 948 that's running right now now we're using 5.2 amps sorry watts while our induction stove is inactive so we'll go ahead and unplug this so this cheap little device here again helped me better size our uh, our solar and battery bank um, I literally went around, plugged it into all the different outlets, tested the microwave, induction stove, computer, um, even phone chargers, our satellite, which is Starlink, which pulls absolutely nothing. It's like 2.5 amps. But the problem was the editing computer and the video may already be out, but we did have to upgrade our solar and our battery bank because when rendering, this editing computer I built does pull over 300 watts, which is how much solar we had on the top. So again, I'll leave a link to this. If you're thinking about building out a van and don't know exactly how much power your appliances use on average, one of these goes a very, very long way.